Good day once again, everyone, and you are welcome to Mathematics Solutions Center. Today, we are going to be looking at a question that says, calculate the mean deviation of the set of numbers 7, 3, 14, 9, 7, and 8. Actually, in this question, you have two options that you can take. You can decide to solve it without using a frequency distribution table. But for me, I will advise you, it is better you use a frequency distribution table so that it will eliminate any form of error and make the work easier for you to work, evaluate. Solution. Your table is supposed to be like this anytime you are calculating mean deviation. You have the x column. This is our x column. And the frequency column, that is the number of times each of your data appears. f of x, the product of f and your x. And then the deviation will be x minus the mean. You have to calculate the mean before you can get your deviation. And then product of frequency and the deviation. Actually, the formula for calculating mean deviation is given as mean deviation is equal to summation of f of d over summation of f. But we need to calculate the mean first. 3 times 1 is 3. We are going to add the whole of f of x together, that is this column. 3 plus 14, it gives us 17. 17 plus 8, it gives an 25. 25 plus 9, it gives 34. 34 plus 14, it gives 48. 48. Therefore, our mean is given as summation of f of x over summation of f. The f of x is... 48, while the summation of f is 6. Therefore, the mean is equal to 24 over 3, that is equal to 8. Since our mean is equal to 8, we can now calculate our deviation, which is what? x minus mean. 3 minus 8 is actually minus 5. 7 minus 8, minus 1. 8 minus 8, 0, 9 minus 8, 1, and 14 minus 8, that is 6. You can see that some part of our answers in the deviation the column, we have negative and also positive answers. But under normal condition, you are to use the absolute value of your D. Okay? Therefore, we are going to ignore a minus in the front of 5 and the minus in the front of 1. So F of D. 1 times 5, we have 5. 2 times 1, we have 2. 1 times 0, we have 0. And then 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 6, 6. Let's add the whole of this together. 5 plus 2, that is 7. 7, 8 plus 6, that is 14. Mean deviation is equal to summation of f of d over summation of f. Summation of f of d is 14, and our summation of f is 6. Therefore, we have our mean deviation to be equal to 14 over 6. Divide by 2. 2 can go in 14. We have 7 over 3. The correct answer is option D. Thanks for watching. We have come to the end of this tutorial. In case you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly click the subscription button now, like the video, share it, and at the same time, put on the notification button. Thanks.